here we are again. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to our weekly edition of Title Talk. And as always, your host, Drew. And Amy. We're uh, coming to you guys live from our studios here at 11757 Southwest Highway in Payless. We gotta take that one and go. I got you. Look I got that. you. Very well done. <laughs> so we are, uh, we, we survived another week. We did. We made it through, well, almost survived another week. Yeah. We made it through. Well, a week from last time we did the show. We did. Now. Yes. So <laughs> we survived another week, so that's a good thing. And uh, we're going to be having a, a guest on with us here in a little while to uh, talk a little bit about what we do and, and who we are and all of that fun. Um, the great news of that is that uh, um, I think it's, it's, it'll kind of help you guys understand a little bit more of what we were talking about last week. Uh, Amy went into some conversation about our development and the ITG Gives Back and Home for Heroes. and um, Spewed a lot of stuff. Yeah, there was a lot of things going <laughs> and we talked about uh, one of the things that was difficult for you for, for the work aspect and one of the hardest titles that you did and it was, you know, and uh, it kind of segued into this uh, conversation about CRC. So I am uh, happy to uh, introduce to you when he gets here our um, my CRC partner uh, in, in our Chicago projects, which is something just, again, very, very near and dear. I think it was just a brilliant idea that he came up with. Oh my gosh. So, it's, um, and it's, after talking to this guy for like 10 minutes, I feel like my brain has so much new information. And so like, I feel like for three hours after I talked to him for 10 minutes, I just need to like decompress yeah, yeah. all of his, <laughs> all of the stuff he says and all of his wisdom. And definitely one of the more intelligent people that I've met and, and yeah. definitely one of my favorite people. Um, you know, he's obviously a very good client as well, but definitely some of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite people. But yeah. Until that point, why don't we uh, just get into our, our typical things that we like to do and go through and chat about. So we are we are going to move on to our next segment here, and uh, oh, we're still doing this. To stick around and, uh, and listen to this, or, or you can you know go ahead and head into your to world of work. Uh, um, I can I can I can sit around for all right for a little right. bit. Well, we're going to get we're going to do our our get to know Drew and Amy, and this is kind of fun because you can listen in and, and uh, chuckle and laugh as to how we kind of go about this next thing. So why don't you go ahead and ask away? All right, number one, should I start easy or hard? I don't care. Um, what is one place you're dying to travel to? One place that I am dying to travel to, um, I would like to go to Bora Bora. Never gone there? No. Interesting. No. Actually, that's not true. I would like to go to Australia. That's really where I would Australia. Yeah. 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 That's a good Australia was cool. awesome. Yeah, I know you've gone. You've I, been I there? Really, that's awesome. That's something that's out oh, of the Oh, you went there a couple years ago. Yes, the year, the year before COVID. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I would definitely yes. do that one again. Yeah, I would definitely. I celebrated. You need some time, right? Yeah, I wouldn't do like a two week. I mean, if you could, yeah, maybe two week, at least two. Yeah, at least two. Weeks. Be I think weeks. he was yeah, gone for like huge, three weeks, and the, I was like jumping up and huge, down because I had no country. facial deals for three weeks. It's a huge country. <laughs> it is a huge country. Do you, do you scuba dive? Uh, I don't, but I mean, I would. Yeah, I, I, I definitely. The reef. Um, I, I I was able to dive, but it was two rough waters. Okay. Was when we went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but if I, I I'll go with you. Wow, there we go, Carol. We got we got a date. Good deal. Okay. Me and Carol and Drew. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Well, not uh, awkward. Not, not, all. not no. weird at all. No. Not Nothing wrong with that. That's very normal. Okay. Amy, what I have for you is what what's the one thing people misunderstand about you? People misunderstand about me. They take my unhealthy obsession with pugs as a bad thing. That's not wow. <laughs> You do okay. have an obsession with so, pugs. So you, okay, so when you asked me this question, it was, what's one thing people don't understand about you? That's originally what you said. They don't understand her, her obsession with pugs. And also, something I get all the time is that my students don't understand how I'm 32 years old. You're 32 years old? I know, doesn't she look like 40? <laughs> so like, when, I, when my students ask me how old I am, or, you know, when, you're 32? I thought you were like 20-something. I was like, it's the way you live, man. Like, um... So yeah, people don't understand how I'm 32. They say I'm 32 going on, you know, 22, so. There will be a time that that clock flips. No. Okay. All right. Go ahead and ask away. I'm ready. What gives your life meaning? Um, Grandpapa Drew. Yeah. What gives yeah. your life Congratulations. meaning? Congratulations. We have a grandpa on the show. Wow. Congrats, wow. Tina what and Chris. 
amazing. Congrats to Tina yeah. Chris. Yes, absolutely. What a what, yeah. and, and what a bury he buries the lead. I'm mean, he's like he sends me a text where he goes, I feel old. And I'm like, okay, it might be his joints, he can't run, yeah. like a series of things his oh, back, yeah. blah blah blah, yeah. blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh yeah, the, the, you know, has you know what's going on? He goes, well, you know, I'm a grandfather. Oh, you buried the lead. <laughs> <laughs> you totally buried the lead. I, I do that well. Congrats, well. Carol. Congrats, all you guys. It's yes, such absolutely. an amazing, wonderful, cool thing. Yeah. Well, so um, again, another well played segue. Obviously, family. Family is obviously what matters, and and that is is kind of the driving motivation. And um, everything I do every day is you know is for. Um, the kids, Carol. I mean, everybody. It, you know, that's the that's the inspiration that is behind me in in every aspect of decision making and um, taking on these these new projects or opportunities and things. Mm -hmm. It it really is. It is really all about family for me. Yeah, no question about no, it. I hear you for sure. No question about it. Um, so, what do you think about when you're by yourself? Um. So every every night I give myself a like. <laughs> Facial's reaction wasn't a good one, but go ahead. Mine is I kind of whatever I'm. I take like ten minutes every night, just Amy time to kind of think about my day, think about what I did well, what I didn't do well, um, and then how to make it better for the next day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a big person of like constant growth and constant change, and I feel like if you're not kind of assessing your life, then what are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I've been trying to do. I mean, this is a new thing I started probably six months ago of like, you know, thinking about my day and what to do tomorrow to make it better. Sounds good. And that pugs. Good. And pugs, well, yeah, that, that goes without saying. Pugs are always importante. I stayed at my parents' house because Joe was out of town. My awesome dog pooped in my bed. Good. Good. It smelled like an atomic bomb. Nice. It was awful. The end. You sure it was the dog? <sighs> don't, don't air it out of my stuff on live. All right, what would you rather have, fortune or fame? Um, very easily, fortune. Uh, I think that, that fame is something that, you know, I think you get with, with, with fortune. Uh -huh. um, and the person that I am of being able to utilize that and being a good steward of, of my money, I think would be something that I, I've been, I think I call that one of my, my gifts. Uh, God obviously gives to those who he feels are good stewards of the money and and you know giving back and talking about giving back and doing things with it that are not self-righteous where you know you're, you're out there buying places in Bora Bora or you know doing things like that but you're you're doing the right thing with it and yeah. uh, so I think the fortune where I can give back to some of the people who have less and are of of need that would be that'd be easy for me for sure for sure and for you the last question of the day what worries you most about the future um how i'm going to accomplish everything i want to accomplish there's a lot i want to do in my life and i hope that my clock is long enough to be able to do that i what is one thing that you want to do i know um, that's a bonus question I mean, so I've been talking about getting my real estate license. That's something that I want to do by the end of the year. Um, fast forward, you know, three years, I want to try to have kids one day. Um, fast, fast forward past that, we're, we're working on building a subdivision. And, you know, it's just like, yeah. there's, there's a lot of things like up in the air right now. And I just, you know, I hope I, I have time to do everything that I want to do. Good. So. Excellent. Excellent. Pick any one of those questions. Which one would you like to answer? He fell asleep. No, no. Okay. The one that he no, reacted he... the most to was what does he think about while he's alone? By, while he's by himself. I don't want to know. Definitely not. <laughs> I'll bring that one up. Um, uh, I think, uh, yeah, there's two questions that kind of pop up from me. The one that you just answered, which is. Um, the future? The future. Yeah, yeah. What worries you most, what, what worries most about the future? About the future? Um, and and there, there's, there's so many layers to this, but. What worries me the most is that I'm not going to be able to, that the world will not be different and I, how do I put this? Like there's this grandiosity piece about me that I want to make it change the world for my daughter and for our mm -hmm. kids, right? And make it a better place. <clears throat> and what worries me about that is that one, we won't be able to change anything. Mm -hmm. And two, that I'm not going to have any impact. So. Mm -hmm. 
um, which kind of feeds into the next question, which is fortune or fame. Right. And I'm already notorious, so. Oh, you are notorious for something. I'm, I've got. There's definitely notoriety. I have in certain circles. Um, yeah. I mean, it's your name alone. Yes. Like the first, you know, year I worked here, every time I heard Faisal's coming, I'm like, oh, God. yeah. But it's yeah. it's an it's the name. And then you got it's to a, know him, and you were like, oh, he's just a big old puppy. He's a big teddy bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is it's a good it's a good image to have. But you are terrifying on the on the front side. Which is so use that for your attorneyness, not for us. Mm -hmm. So appreciate it. It's hard to balance the two. I know, but you do it well. But you've done wolves, right? So yeah. there's the, 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 the vicious one and then the not so vicious. Right. And right. I'm glad we get the not so vicious get, mostly. Yeah. Sometimes you got to feed one, sometimes you got to feed the other. So true. So, so true. Well, I think that wraps up that segment. And we will end this with, uh, we probably won't talk too much about IT Gives Back today. We're, we're, uh, the only thing I do want to say about that is we do have a place. We have a golf course. A oh, golf yeah. course. A golf course. Yes. So we are doing our blood drive next week. Uh, April 1st. April 1st. I wanted to say that. And then we are also, we are booked in for Glen Woody for a golf outing. Yep. Um, so it's the it's going to be the second annual Tim Garvin golf outing in memory of my cousin. Um, and that will be happening at Glen Woody July 24th. Yeah, we're really happy to be a, a part of that, Look sponsoring space. that and all that. This literally just came to It fruition. legitimately, it was like yesterday we got the we have a We have a segment called uh, Inspired. He has a tendency of having these golf outings and not inviting me. Oh, no, we haven't even sent out invitations. You're on the list. In general, you've done these golf things and you invite you everybody go around me, but you haven't You golf for four holes and then you work. Right. That's not true. Right? Or you golf in sandals. All right, so the you problem, golf with you. Cigar, <laughs> the problem was, and I, does she know about my 180-yard drive now? No. I can drive now. I can still drive, I'll drive you, but that's okay. Oh, I'm I, just kidding. Wow. I, wow. We're married? We're <laughs> uh, No, I, 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 I used to, I, I was fun for the camaraderie, but now I can actually. Way to go. Drive. I know, I was pretty excited. Do I mean, I can't go past 180, but. That's great though. I'm good with 180. It was much, much better than the 18 we were getting last time, so. Right. And we are also this is what partners. I get for being nice to Amy. I'm just, I'm, no, but for real. Uh, but that's. We're also affiliated with the Homes for, Homes for Heroes. Heroes. We are doing our first deal. We are doing our first Home for Heroes deal, which uh -huh. uh, we will make a, a pretty big deal out of that and, and kind of celebrate the teacher who is uh, our hero. part of the program. She's mm -hmm. our hero in this instance. So yeah. we'll be able to uh, uh, share with you guys what that looks like and, and what we're able to do with that. So if you know any heroes out there that are in the market to buy or sell, uh, send them our way. We are more than happy to help them and discount their some of their, their fees and things because we are thankful for all that they do. So um, how about your quote of the day, Ames? What do you got? Um, I have, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. And I am in the process of becoming the best version of myself. Do you have a favorite quote that you'd like to uh, spew out every now and again that you can say live without? Besides think different, think inspired. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's actually a great quote from Teddy Roosevelt. There's many. She uses them. Uh, have you, uh, and, and I don't know if you guys are, are fans of Brittany but, Brown. Oh. Go ahead. No, go. Um, I thought you were going to bring your Teddy Roosevelt and if it was the same one, I would. Uh, it's the one where um, uh, the was Teddy Roosevelt quote about the gladiator. Are you familiar with that one? I had it on my Facebook, um, Man in the Arena. No. Oh, share it. Oh, this is a great one. Okay. So, um, we're going to work on your internet. It is not the critic who, in the, this is the man in the arena. It is not the critic who counts, not the man. Um, sorry. Oh, your eyeballs are going. Yeah. No. It is not the <laughs> critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man, or the person, who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself or herself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. The man in the arena. It's intense. Mm -hmm. I know. It is intense, yeah. 
don't do anything lightly. No, that's a true statement. I kind of want to get that on your portal. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. It's yeah. cool. It's really right. Cool. So, as those of us who are in the arena, yeah, thank no you. Doubt. No doubt. Thank you guys for joining us today and uh, joining us every week. We, we certainly appreciate you. Um, and we are Inspired Title, and this is Faisal, our favorite attorney. And uh, it looks like he'll be here next week joining us. And Amy, why don't you close us out of here today? You just did. I didn't say goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you watching, tuning in, and commenting. So please make sure to like, share, Instagram, Facebook, and all that fun stuff. All those things. Until next week, guys. Take care. Have take a great care. Bye-bye. Okay.